That is how many miles we've done again this weekend. It's 5 to 11. I'm ready for bed. Absolutely knackered. Just got back from Bow Beach. I haven't done a live match for it, but we got stuck on the M25 coming home. It's really late, so I just thought I'd give you a quick rundown on the day now, just while it's nice and fresh, because I think you deserve that. Um, because reflecting on matches a few days later, things are a little bit different. Your opinion's a little bit different. I've got it a little bit wrong. I'll be honest with you, I've drawn peg six on the damn head. I've got a bit of footage of the weighing coming up for you. Basically, I fished for bream all day. I fished one line at 55 metres. Um, and I've just gone down that one hole. I've had two rods set up. I've fished one with a like a Paternoster setup, a you know a more um, traditional setup, and one with um, a pellet feeder, a method feeder. I've alternated, but on that rod. But it's been that kind of presentation. I've done it with hairy worm, boily, and on the other line, I've just fed chop worm. Sorry, on the Paternoster setup, I've just fed chop worm, maggots, just the usual bream kind of approach. And the bream haven't fed, I can't believe it. It's taken £14 to win that zone. I'm amazed. You know, a water like that, I've had, you know, loads of water in front of me. Everyone in that section has got some deep water. And the bream just haven't fed. You know, Will Raisin's had four bream. I've had a couple of two and a half pounders. But that's really been it. And, you know, massive credit to Darren Cox who went on to win the zone. He's got his head down, he's fished for small fish at about... 18 or 20 meters he's just got his head down he started on it and he's just kept going and he's gone on to win the zone feel really sorry for glenn lawrence glenn if you're watching absolute great performance mate I, darren's beaten by one ounce um and i mean glenn has fished a very similar approach to darren but but glenn has tried his long line as well so he's only probably fished for small fish for about three and a half hours i could see glenn because he was to my left and that's the way that i've you know i've faced with my rod so i've been watching glenn all day and you know, he's really fished a you know a really nice match. Um, whereas Darren's fished for small fish for the full five hours. He's got his head down. He's gone for it. He has fed a long line, but he's never got on it, and he's beat Glenn by a, by an ounce to qualify. So that's it. Massive well done, Darren. Bit of footage from the weigh-in for you, and we're just starting with um, just the walk up to Will Raisin. Well, I've been on peg six on the damn wall, and I've got to admit I've got it a bit wrong. We think about 12 to 14 pound might have won the section, but. I'll be lucky to get £10, I've probably got £89, done it a bit wrong but just go up here, Will Raisin's up here today, I think this might be only Feeder Masters ticket he's had, he's just weighing in, I think he's had four breeding this last 45 minutes, we think Darren Cox might have won it, he's got 130 odd fish on a short line, guess we'll find out. £8 two. Well done, Glenn. Brilliant. Yeah, I think we've got more. That's a fish there now, I've not. I've had a few of them, yeah. That's more than I've got, mate. You reckon? Yeah. We'll see. 14-12. Brilliant. Well done, Glenn. 10. and that w that was my way you know i had a few net fish there which were you know decent quality fish but they just weren't there in the numbers and i didn't have any small fish to back that up as well so i mean looking at you know in hindsight obviously darren's won it with 14 pound i've had nine pound odds just under 10 pound whatever it was so you know it's only two fish really away from from having enough weight to qualify, but you'd never dream that it'd take 14 pounds just to win that small section, or those 20 pegs there, incredible. Um, but, you know, that's it. Darren got his head down and uh, and this was him weighing in. There you go, Paul. Your 10 pounds gone 14 and a half. 14.10. Oh. 
Yeah, I don't know. It's a shallow where I am, so. Of course it is, yeah, as yeah. it gets down here. It's a little bit of a can. It's a bit of £8. £7.5. They are smaller then, don't they? Lovely net of fish, though. Lovely net of fish, isn't it? Lovely net of fish, isn't it? <laughs> Did I tell you? Wouldn't yeah, have it, would you? Joking! Ah, wouldn't have it, yeah, he's done it. Oh, sure. I said 16 pound, it's 15 pound then. 14, 14, 13. Oh, oh, oh. Well, Dan's had 130 odd fish, 14 pound, 13, I think it was, and he's won the zone. Fantastic, he's done it from start to finish. He's made the right choice, the bream and that haven't fed here. That's a chance you take though, and obviously, you know, I mean, Darren has fed a long line, but he's never been on it. Um, he didn't need to, he's just seen what's happening around him, and he's just ticked over on a short line. So, top job, Darren, job done. But that's it, well done, Darren, massive congratulations. Same to Simon Willsmore, who's qualified from the top section, the top section of the, of the dam, and of course, to good friend and fellow Matrix consultant, Torsten. Fantastic job, Torsten. You know, I mean, you know, you're a gold medalist. You're the current world pairs champion. Jens has been over there with you. Hi, Jens, if you're watching as well. It's been great to see you, lads. And you've travelled over. A lot of people don't realise they've actually travelled over just for that competition today. They've travelled over from Germany just for that. They fished the practice match yesterday and they've gone and fished that today. And straight after the presentation, where we were all headed in back up north, they've gone south to the channel tunnel and they're driving straight home to Germany but they're probably back to work again in the morning fantastic respect lads you really deserve it especially Torsten you've done fantastic and um, yeah we're going to be seeing you in a couple of weeks time at the World Pairs if not you know Torsten all the best in the final mate fantastic performance